In this video, we're going to take a brief tour of Canvas. Your teacher will probably go over the site with you with their specific format. But for this video, we're going to use the Algebra 1 class format. So this is the home page right here. And on this side over here, you'll see notifications for different assignments, if anything's coming up. If you click on Assignments, you'll see any of the assignments that are published. Now sometimes teachers have assignments they haven't published yet, so you won't be able to see everything here. And then these are past assignments. Discussions are any place where the teacher wants to have more of like a discussion board format. And you can post replies and see the replies of other students. So here's a math problem that was posted. You have to click here to download the math problem. This is probably the most important tab, right? Grades. And again, I'm in the sample student here, so you're not seeing any scores. But if you were logged in, you would see how many points you got out of each of these. And then if you scroll down to the bottom, you'd be able to see your overall percentages in each of the different categories, which can give you a good picture of how you're doing on tests, projects, that type of thing. Okay, I'm going to skip down to modules. Modules tends to be where most teachers organize their materials, but again, everybody does it a little differently. And so in modules, the class is grouped by units so that you can look at, you know, one or two units at a time and not get overwhelmed. And all of the assignments can be posted in here. All right, let's look at submitting an assignment. So if you wanted to submit your homework, okay, here it says how you can submit it, when it's due, and the points. So um, if you wanted to do a file upload, you would just click here to upload. If you wanted to do text entry, you would type it in here. And the format is going to vary depending on what type of assignment the teacher gave you. You can resubmit it if you need to by clicking here. Also, you can always type comments to the teacher. And then they'll see uh, those messages. One thing to keep in mind is a lot of times an assignment includes a PDF or file that you need to download, work on, and then upload. So let's talk about how to do that. This assignment right here happens right at the beginning of the year, and it's a way of discovering my Algebra 1 textbook. If I click here, I will be able to see the document right online. This can be helpful if I just want to get a quick overview of what I'm supposed to do. To work on it, though, I'm going to have to actually download it, so I'll click here and then open that document. So here I have the worksheet. I've downloaded it, printed, and added my answers. Now one thing that might seem pretty basic but that makes a big difference is when you go to save it, um, you want to be really organized and I'd put your name and make sure you have the title of the assignment. The reason I say that is because a lot of times a big issue students have is they turn in the wrong PDF when they go to submit it on the website, which is really easy to do if you don't have clear labels. So you might want to take some time to create folders for yourself, for the class, for each unit, and organize all of that. Okay, so now that we have that saved, we'll go back here and we want to submit our assignment. And we know it's right here. because We clearly labeled it. We can add some comments and we're good. Now let's take a look at what happens once the teacher grades it. So notice here I have a little notification on my grades. That means the teacher's graded something. So I'll click here and here it is. So if I click on the comments I can immediately see my comment and the teacher's comment just right there without opening it. If I click on the assignment, this is important, if I want to see the this feedback I need to click on view feedback and in this screen 
the assignment shows up and I can see that my teacher has posted some comments to me that I should make sure I read. I can reply here if I want or I can just read them and also the teacher can write right on like this. So you want to make sure you go through and read all those comments to see what they've said. The teacher also has posted comments over here. So the, po the comments can be in the document itself or posted on the side.